Joey Cassano right here representing JoeyCassano.com. Guys, it's been a while since I've seen you and I've done a video. I've started a new job because during the off season I work my you know what off during the summer because I don't do a lot of betting during the summer. I only bet uh, college football, NFL, and college basketball. And college basketball is about to be over, hence the title Final Four. Um gonna just kind of rehash uh you know everybody knows mainly what i do is i sell my picks uh i don't consider myself like a handicapper uh handicapper will take your money all year long i'm not a handicapper i won't take your money all year long i have an off season i'm more of a sports betting consultant now this gentleman right here his name is big bubba he has been with me for years way back to my win and wager days and i'm gonna go back to the beginning of march i want to say it was about 33 and 21 for the month of march and I'm going to rehash the month of March with you, showing you all these picks that I send them. I directly send them to your phone. Alrighty, so we are at March 6th. Okay. March 6th, by the way, we had Seton Hall plus 2.5 over Villanova, and that was a straight-up victory where they came back and won like on a 17-0. Alright, here we go. March 2nd was a Saturday, and March 1st, was Jacksonville plus one. Loser. Went against my, my logics, and my logics say don't bet Fridays, but I did. Um, then we had Wake Forest. Loser. Then we had Arkansas, minus two. Winner. Coastal Carolina, plus five and a half. Winner. Sunday, my best day of the week. Oh, we also had Clemson that night, Saturday, um, plus four and a half over against North Carolina. And we also had A&M. That night against, I don't I think it was Vandy. They barely covered that one. We got super lucky on that one. Then um, Sunday, swept the board, 3-0. and DePaul, plus 1.5 over Nova, got the victory. I think Nova, somebody, I could be wrong. Uh, App State, plus 7, straight-up victory. Then Stanford, plus 2. They only lost by 1 against Washington, I remember that day. Then him and I had a little personal conversation, talking about poker, because I'm visiting, inviting some of Team Cassano to come join me for the World Series of Poker in New Orleans in May. Then on, it you know, looks like Monday, March 4th, we had TCU and Southern Utah. Those were both one and one. I remember that night. Then the following night, we had Ole Miss, plus five and a half. They uh, cover against Kentucky. Oklahoma, plus two, straight up victory. George Mason laid an egg big time in the second half. I want to say they only scored like 50 points altogether. Then we had La Tech on Wednesday, uh, Seton Hall um, as well. Both two winners straight up. Uh, you can find a lot of these picks on Fifth Street Sports. I give them out to a Vegas legend named Frank Perez, and he actually uh, tells a lot of these picks too. But then on Wednesday, the next following day, we had a nice little 2-1. and one. Arkansas Little Rock turned the ball over the last three possessions in the last minute to lose the game. Uh, but we covered on those other two, and Valpo was actually a three-point dog. Um, then we had a couple losers. Southern Utah and Western Carolina lost for us. We had Akron plus two and a half. That was a loser. That one, they were winning the entire game. South Alabama, winner. Those two, Irish and Iowa State, losers. Uh, let's see. Then we had the Corneskers, Sunday, my favorite day, winner. Then we had Western Illinois and Seed Greensboro, Wright State. Two out of those three won. We had North Dakota State plus three and a half. We all know about them. They're winner. Then we struck out twice. Butler plus two. Northwestern plus three and a half. Then we had, let's see... On the 16th, we had Florida losing to Auburn by three. Only got lucky on that one. And then we had on Sunday when it was final like championship tournaments. We went one and one on that Sunday. And then, let's see, the following Tuesday, we went one and one with Arkansas and NC State minus nine. Then we hit a little one and two night the following night losing a unit. I usually say bet the uh, same amount on each game. Uh, manage your money correctly. Then the tournament starts. Only first play. New Mexico plus state against six. I mean plus six against Auburn. Winner. Then we had Nova minus three. Winner. Iowa State plus four and a half against Auburn. Winner. Then we had VCU plus Central Florida. Loser. Then we had Baylor plus fourteen and a half. Kansas plus two. Purdue minus three and a half. You see which the results are on those two. Then we had. Uh, da, 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 da. UC Irvine blew it for us. We had Coastal plus 10, straight up dog winner. Presbyterian loser. Hampton plus three and a half, winner. And then Auburn on Friday, winner, straight up. And then we had Purdue plus four and a half, what a heartbreaker. Then we had Tech plus four and a half, straight up winners, we all know. Sparty the other day against Duke, I just knew it. I love that 
kid, and then I had DePaul was my last play, and that was a push. So you kind of get the gist of March. What I did, uh, total, I've actually got the numbers on that. That is, if instead of you counting it up, I will let you know, it is uh, a total of 33 and 21. So you win $3,300 if you bet $100 a game <clears throat> for the month of March. Let's see here. Let's see how it works. 3300 minus, what did we say, 21. So minus 2100. Yep, let's see here. Minus 2100. Minus 210. Oops. Oh, 3300 minus 2100 minus 210. Be up that much for the month. Betting 900, betting 100 to win, betting to win 100 games. You're up 10 units for the month. I'll take it every month of the year. Anyways, like I said, my season's about over with. Uh, my final four prediction is I like, uh, give me, um, give me Sparty, man. That, that, that Winston, whatever the hell that kid's name is, he is, he is legit, man. The bald head kid. There was a game last year, and I'm about to wrap it up. There was a game last year where Northwestern was up on Sparty by maybe about 15 to 20, and we took, I took and sent to my team Casano members that take Sparty in the second half, and I seldom bet the halves. And that kid lit it up and outscored Northwestern on his own. And, uh, man, that kid is legit. So that's my Final Four prediction. And my Final Four up front prediction is uh, for this first week, for this first game, watch out now. Virginia might run away with it. Auburn might run out of gas. That's just spitballing and tonight texas plus one and a half against tcu it is full it's april 2nd 2019 texas plus one and a half joey cassano thanks for giving me seven minutes of your life you can find me at joeycassano.com if you really want to get with a real sports betting consultant and it'll really win you some money i just showed it all to you exactly how it works i'm the real deal i gotta go do a radio show from the frank perez the vegas legend that's based out of vegas in about 20 minutes so you guys have a wonderful day and thanks for giving me seven minutes.